Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Stellaris Multiplayer, Utopia, Banks, stuff. How is everyone? <laughs> very good. I've awesome. got a cup of tea. I'm very well. Excellent. Oh, tea. That would have been a good idea. Yeah, damn it. Can can I have some, please? Cool. Well, it's it's not been long for you guys, but it's been long for us since we played the last recording session, so it's going to take us a little bit to get familiar with what's going on, but I think we should just get into it at normal speed if that's right with everyone yes normal this is oh. fine by me cool i'm only shipmancing anyway shipmancing what's that yeah, it's a technical term is it that's not what i thought you said <laughs> <laughs> probably best keep that to yourself james <laughs> what's shipmancing <laughs> Oh, do, do, do. So, uh, what's everyone up to? What's your plans? Tell me everything. Are we coming in peace, as usual? Yeah. That kind of thing? I've always comes in peace. Absolutely. Why would it not? Nice. I can't remember what I was doing. I really can't. Oh yeah, oh, I just I, I don't think that will make much difference, but no, be fine. no, thanks. Cheers. It's really kind of you. I just had the war with the other evil toads, not the nice friendly toads. I don't think there are any nice friendly toads. No, it's not very nice. Don't listen to the hive mind. Oh. oh, what were my Scots up to? This is really disorientating because I was playing Stellaris just before we started playing Stellaris. <laughs> <laughs> How is Scott Manly 3 and 4? And we're well past 3 and 4 are resting in peace now, I believe. Crikey. I think we're well past 3 and 4. It's Fun 5. Like Scott Manly 47 or something. Oh no, 4 still alive. Oh, and three still alive. Sorry, three and four are both still alive. I thought so. I, th I thought they were still alive and kicking. They're just not quite the cutting edge of St Scott Manley technology right now. Uh. <laughs> uh, are you going to get cloning on the go? Clone yourself some top quality Scott Manleys. Oh, you reminded me of something then. Did I? Was it cloning? Maybe. You've got a clone army. Have you seen the, the full... <laughs> Stellaris um, Star Wars conversion mod pack thing. It yeah. changes everything. Looks pretty cool. <sighs> oh yeah, no slaves. Everybody's in the hive mind. Everything's fine. <laughs> so what have you got in yours? Have you got lots of slaves for the cats? Yeah, the cats are slave crazy. Slave, psychic, lots of psi warriors and uh, and slaves and, and going for all that ascension stuff uh, and doing all the uh, whatever it's called shroud plot which I yeah. haven't done yet crikey mate yeah I think I, I'm going to start a new game I still haven't started a new game other than this one on Utopia because I just have no time to play anything It's um, but I want to do I'd really like to do fanatical purifiers I just think Having no response Guys, for just killing absolutely everyone sounds like great fun. Your prejudices will be pleased to know I'm eating a race. Ah, knew it. But they're, only, pri they're only primitives. <laughs> knew it was going to happen sooner or later. <clears throat> Suppose that makes it all right, does it? It makes it fine, yeah. Right, I need to tidy up from this war. There's a lot of mining stations that I lost. And are these planets going to revolt? I think I get the whole seeding planet thing now. Because I've already lost one of the, the four planets I took. I don't know if I really want to get it back. Because my uh, factions are pretty pissed off. What do you want? Ha! Factions. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
with all that sweet, sweet free influence that they give you. I don't appreciate the crunchiness of factions. Hmm. Yeah, still struggling to completely understand the factions tab. Um, I, in one of my Utopia playthroughs, I was of the opinion that factions are you don't have to worry about them too much, and they're just like free influence. And right. then I played another game where it was vitally important to keep them happy. So it kind of depends on what kind of build you're going with. Yeah, and I kind of lost my way with that when I started this war. Yeah. But that does lead I'll, uh, to some complications. I've learnt my lesson. It, yeah. Well, fight your wars faster or more aggressively? No, it's the reasons why they started, I guess. <laughs> what? How dare they? Hmm. You playing any uh, personal games, James, other than this one? Um, I managed to achieve a Federation domination victory. Oh. Um, spiritualist. Uh, codes. What was that space geckos? No, that was with space geckos. That was that was the Nazi <laughs> space geckos. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the spiritualist sloths got brutally murdered. Nice. Which just makes me think that spiritualism is pointless and um, military totalitarianism is the way forward. Yeah. I, I was disappointed like... that I had to go for a federation victory, but I did manage to wipe out both fallen empires. Nice. Which always makes you happy. It always makes you very, very happy, yes. But, but we did have to kind of gang up our fleets. So I had my 250k fleet. And um, the other guys had their 30 odd K fleets. Crikey. It was awesome. Right, let's get spending some of this money. I've got far yeah. too much. It's a bit weird. I've gone from a game where I was really like having to make all the decisions really carefully because of my low resources to this game where I'm just drowning in minerals and things yeah oh, no. so hard yeah <laughs> does it feel like they've changed the minerals or energy at all in the utopia yes. and banks i feel like i've got loads more than i normally would do in my mind they've definitely made the minerals a bit more balanced it's a difficult one to balance, in my opinion. Construction complete. Oh, games like this are just generally a nightmare to balance because they're so complicated. But at least nowadays they've got a whole internet full of people looking for exploits. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. And they're not quiet about shouting about it when they find them, so. New research. You had any proper wars yet with your hive? No, I've, I, the hive come in peace, I told you. You all know that yeah. I've always come in, Pete. 61, that's a ripe old age for a tetanai. Well, 
Although we are getting better at living longer, our research is coming along nicely. Very nice. Yeah, my totalitarian space geckos were uh, venerable, and it was quite nice. You could actually get quite experienced leaders, and not just have them go, I've got five stars, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I think someone's got a phone near something. Oh, I was the only microphone. one. Uh, mobile phone. It was making the annoying noise. Thing. Unless it, I was the only one that heard it, then it might just be me. I'm not. I'm not getting that. All uh, right. Probably me. We'll claim it's you. Yeah. That seems reasonable. Uh. Are we all back in the groove? Can we go a bit beyond um, normal? I'm happy with that, Joe. You. Uh... Yeah, yeah, you can do. Just I'm trying to bombard a planet, and it's taking a while. Wow, well, oh, you know how it is. <laughs> oh, that's a lot better. Is it a well-defended planet? Well, it was. <laughs> 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 then toads happened. Well, it was, and then. Modified toads with swarm drones happened. Lots of them. I don't know if I've actually got all those things. I've just got lots of toads. Ah, that's where their army is. Bloody pirates. Oh, oh, victory is mine. Awesome. Oh my god, my situation logs a little bit full of jobs. <laughs> Joe jobs. Drexel jobs. Well, this is quite a hefty fight. I think I don't even think I had anything like this. Well, no, actually I did. Oh, bless, they had shields on their ships. That was... <laughs> what is that? Oh, bloody hive. Leave me alone. I'm quite worried about these uh, happy looking starfish. They look far too happy. <laughs> I'm sure you could unhappy them. Uh, I'm not sure I could. They're actually yeah. stronger than me. In that case, I approve of them. I want to be their friends. By friends, you mean lick them to death? Maybe. Oh dear. What is it with Civ and Stellaris games? I never seem to get the land I want. You're too slow? Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Chicken Morango. You've got the whole spiral arm to yourself by the looks of things. Nah. Construction complete. Lies. Absolute lies. Feeling he doth protest too much. Yep.
Don't let me select. Oh, it's now let me select. Prosperity. I'm useless at coming up with good fleet names. Just thought I'd let you know. Are you doing any better than me? I don't know. I have first armada, third armada, and fifth armada. Ooh, armada. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what have you got, Joe? What, in terms of fleet names? Yeah. Uh, whatever my name list calls them. Oh. First combat swarm. I'm just calling them viruses. Virus. I just like the way uh, Smith says virus in the first. He does say it with particular. Virus. Disdain. It smells. I can smell it. Or whatever he says. It's a stench. He says a lot of yeah, he does. <clears throat> Score my well, way. sectors work? Hmm? How do sectors work? What do you mean, how do they work? Well, in this case, badly. Uh... <laughs> Virus. Oh, just what I need. A tech that gives me more influence from factions. That's so incredibly useful for my situation. <laughs> my heart breaks. Oh, I can't remember which of my ship designs were which now. You guys all sound like you've really got the worst problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's terrible. I can tell I'm properly with it. I'm just going, what does the eyeball mean above a planet? But, uh, yeah, I've not played this game for too long. What? I've also uh, completely readapted to pausing <laughs> <laughs> in single player, so back to this mad rush multiplayer mode. Quite enjoyable, really, isn't it? No, oh, yeah, it's good. Well, we know that you like the mad rush, James. I'm disappointed at how slow we play this game most of the time. 
I can't help but feel this is your tactic is just to make it so quickly that uh, no one can consider any of their decisions. <laughs> well, I don't, so why should anyone else? <laughs> yes, this is, this is what I thought. <laughs> <clears throat> Individual Choice League is gaining uh, popularity. That doesn't sound very Toadian. Sounds horrific. I can't think of many things worse, actually. scientist or oh, your scientist what all oh, my scientist died oh how tragic Bad science. Have I not spotted that before? That's a bit annoying. Silly. Has pig features. Sorry, what? Has pig features. Ah, uh, small, annoying. Shark, sharky shark. Um, sometimes I'm pleased when I get new Starship tech, but at the same time, 
when playing like this, it's a bit of a, oh God, I've got to now spend ages going through my ships while not pausing. Yeah. Yeah, I've been a bit lazy. I've been using the autocomplete, but then just checking it's using the weapons that I want and generally the right layout. I'm just a wee bit lazy. But I like how it works out. Nice ways of using up just the right amount of power. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. Where is that science ship gone? No, you stay here. Continue your work. Has anyone watched uh, The Expanse? Yes. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Telling me I should. Yes. Definitely. It's just one of those, though. You get hooked on a new season and you uh, you run out of episodes to watch and it's like, can you bring out some more, please? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Whoa, no. Retreat. Oh, my God. I've just noticed how goddamn deadly it is. Flipping heck. It's going well, Ben. Oh, my God. Just lost half my fleet. <laughs> What did you just do? I jumped into a, a system with uh, eight, uh, loads of ancient uh, sentinel stuff. Ah. Ancient defender, ancient warden, ancient guardian. Where does that come from? Which the hell is that? It's ridiculous. I wasn't going to stick around to look at it, but. Oh, my God. Did that just all go very badly wrong very quickly? Yeah, it was one of those things where it was like, oh, it's my it's my big fleet jumping in to kill some pathetic small thing and then jumped it'll over to have a look. Yeah, it'll be fine. And then suddenly you see that skull on top of them and it's like, oh, crap. Oh, really? Oh, this so what you're good. saying, now is the best time to attack you because you've got no fleet. Is that what you're... No, 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 no. Nothing like that. And then while that was all happening, there was a revolt. On one of the planets I'd taken. Just great. See, You're having a great day. Yeah, you don't have this really kind of well. problem if you eat the people you invade, I'm just saying. Mm. Smug hive. Clearly didn't put enough people on the surface to uh, prevent any riots. <clears throat> Research complete. <sighs> so, who are you guys? Scott Manley. Fly safe. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I want peace with you. Peace. The hive. Yeah, the hive. Non aggression pact. Comes in peace. Have I not been peddling this line enough? Come to our buffet. And just, yeah. All you can eat. <laughs> All you can eat. Uh Ooh, your scientist five or higher. Just don't die. Wow, you're old. Oh, sorry.
science. Enjoying the new music, though. Yeah, it's good. Adds to the whole experience. How are we doing for episode, Ben? Oh, that's a very good point. Yeah, I think we're going to have to put in a cut here and uh, come back to this another day. Well, another day for, for anyone who's watching. Um, but yeah, are you, uh, are you guys enjoying yourselves? It's the most important thing. <laughs> I think yeah, I just yeah. worked out what I was doing. Really? That's always good. I'd love to be in that position, but I'm uh, assuming I was doing something. I'm getting there. Fair enough. Well, that's going to be all we have time for uh, this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and do come and join us in the next episode. Bye-bye from me. Bye-bye from, from us. us. Awesome. See you next time.